Welcome to the Plant-Based Briefing Podcast, Episode 1, Plant-Based Diet versus Vegan Diet, What's the Difference? By Brian Wendell of ForksOverKnives.com. Plant-Based Briefing is the curated content plant-based podcast for people interested in healthy, compassionate, and sustainable living in about 10 minutes or less every weekday. I'm your host, Marian Erickson, and I created this podcast for those who want information from experts on the various benefits of plant-based or vegan living without getting bogged down in research. You may have heard that plant-based diets are best for your health, animals, and the environment. This podcast is where you can keep up to speed on all these facets without a huge time commitment. It's modeled after Justin Mollick's Optimal Living Daily podcasts, which I highly recommend you check out. I've been a subscriber from the beginning. Basically, I thought his concept of a curated content podcast was brilliant, and I believe it lends itself beautifully to my passion, plant-based and vegan living. So I reached out to Justin, letting him know I wanted to launch a curated plant-based podcast similar to his, and he gave me some great advice to help me get started. I'm so grateful to him. And I think the timing is perfect because with the plant-based revolution in full swing, there's so much great information out there, but it can almost be overwhelming. So I search the internet for the best content I can find. Then I reach out to the authors to get their permission to read it to you here. I'll cover a variety of topics including plant-based health and nutrition, the environment and sustainable living, animal welfare and liberation, and vegan fashion, entertainment, travel, and lifestyle. We'll also explore the ethics of animal use in general, not only relating to animal rights, but also relating to human rights, stewardship of the planet, infectious diseases and pandemics, and a variety of other issues that continue coming to light. I personally went plant-based for health in 2019, and since then learned about animal agriculture and became vegan. You can hear more about my background and why I created this podcast in episode zero, but essentially because I'm a voiceover artist with a home studio, it was a natural fit to take this great content that's already out there and convert it into audio format. I want to make it easy for people to find a variety of information from the experts quickly without having to do all the research. You can get a quick fix every weekday in about 10 minutes or less. And being in podcast format, you can listen when it's convenient for you while you're doing other things. Feel free to check out the authors and websites I'll be narrating from. You can see the ever-growing list at plantbasedbriefing.com. And to suggest additional authors or websites you'd like me to include in the rotation, please leave a review for the podcast along with your suggestion because good reviews also help others find the podcast. You could also head over to the YouTube episode and enter suggestions in the comments section there, or you can always contact me for any reason through my website, plantbasedbriefing.com. Thank you for listening. I'm so excited to be launching this podcast and sharing all this great information. Today's post is from Brian Wendell of ForksOverKnives.com. He's actually founder and president and executive producer of the Forks Over Knives feature film. It was released in 2011, and it's now a world-famous documentary showing people how to regain control of their health and their lives with a plant-based diet. It's one of the first plant-based documentaries I watched, probably even the first. Forks Over Knives has also since released best-selling books, launched a mobile recipe app, and they maintain a website filled with the latest research, success stories, recipes, and tools to help people at every phase of their plant-based journeys. They also have a cooking course, a meal planner, a line of food products, and a magazine. They are an amazing resource that you must check out if you haven't already. Visit ForksOverKnives.com for more information. Now let's get to today's plant-based briefing. Plant-Based Diet versus Vegan Diet. What's the Difference? by Brian Wendell of ForksOverKnives.com. The American diet is changing. More people than ever are questioning the wisdom of consuming large amounts of animal food and are moving to a life with more plant foods. Indeed, this shift is evidenced in the booming plant-based food industry, which saw $3.3 billion in sales in 2018 alone. We all by now have heard of family or friends that have gone vegan or have adopted a plant-based diet. Others may even know people on a whole food plant-based diet. Some of this terminology is relatively new. Some of it has a longer history. Further confusing things is how these terms are quickly evolving and often mean different things to different people. But what do these terms mean to most of us today? Let's take a deeper dive. What is the difference between a vegan diet and a plant-based diet? 
A plant-based diet predominantly consists of plants. Most people use the term to refer to a 100% plant diet, but some people include small amounts of animal products. A vegan diet totally eliminates all animal products. Donald Watson coined the term vegan in 1944 to describe someone who fully abstains from all animal products for ethical reasons. It followed that a vegan diet completely eliminated animal-derived foods of all kinds, 100% of the time. Over time, more and more people have started to adopt the vegan way of eating for reasons other than animal welfare, such as health and the environment. And today, vegan diet is commonly used to describe a diet that excludes all animal products, regardless of motivation. With a plant-based diet, the vast majority of food comes from plants. The term originated in the health science community, where it was more appropriate than vegetarian or vegan. First, the term is divorced from any ethical connotation, and second, it doesn't mean never eating meat or never eating animal products. Consumption of very small amounts of animal foods can be inconsequential when speaking of the health benefits of a diet, an important nuance for science that is not captured by the term vegan or vegetarian. What is a whole food plant-based diet? A whole food plant-based diet, which is what Forks Over Knives advocates, is centered on whole, unrefined, or minimally refined plant foods and excludes or minimizes meat, dairy products, eggs, and highly refined foods, such as bleached flour, refined sugar, and oil. A person eating this way will eat mainly fruits, vegetables, including tubers and starchy vegetables, whole grains, and legumes. The whole food part of whole food plant-based has become increasingly relevant as highly processed vegan foods have become more widely available, making it possible to eat a vegan diet while eating very few whole plant foods. Simultaneously, for marketing purposes, many manufacturers have begun labeling these highly processed vegan foods as plant-based. This has effectively made plant-based and vegan synonyms when it comes to food labeling. Foods sporting the plant-based label are generally vegan, whether or not they're healthful is another issue. Can you be vegan and whole food plant-based? Yes, it's not just possible but common to be both vegan and whole food plant-based. Many people adopt a whole food plant-based diet and after experiencing dramatic health benefits become interested in other reasons for avoiding animal products, such as the environmental impact and ethical issues surrounding factory farming. We've also heard from vegans who gave up animal products for ethical reasons and after some time decided to adopt a whole food plant-based diet for their health. How We Got Here, A Brief History of Plant-Based In 1980, T. Colin Campbell, Ph.D., was at the National Institutes of Health researching the potential therapeutic impact of a low-fat, high-fiber, vegetable-based diet on cancer. Campbell sought a succinct term that encompassed this eating pattern without invoking ethical considerations. Thus, the term plant-based was born into the world of nutritional science. A few years later, after testifying against the supplement industry, Campbell appended the whole food modifier to clarify that it was whole plant foods, not isolated nutrients, that had health-promoting effects. The following chart summarizes some of the differences between a vegan diet, a plant-based diet, and a whole food plant-based diet. A vegan diet completely excludes all animal-derived products, such as meat and poultry, seafood, and eggs and dairy products. A plant-based diet doesn't necessarily exclude, but seeks to exclude or at least minimize those same animal products, meat and poultry, seafood, and eggs and dairy products. A whole food plant-based diet seeks to exclude or minimize the animal products as well as oils and highly processed foods such as refined sweeteners, bleached flours, and white rice. You just listened to Plant-Based Diet versus Vegan Diet, What's the Difference? by Brian Wendell of ForksOverKnives.com. And I'm your host, Marian Erickson, and a word of caution about the plant-based labeling that you'll see on food products and menus is just to be careful, it doesn't necessarily mean 100% plant-based. It can mean 100% plant-based, but it can also just mean has plants in it. I've seen frozen food chicken products labeled plant-based because they have some plants in it. And we have a national restaurant chain, at least one that I know of, who has mac and cheese and cheese pizza on their plant-based menu. 
I contacted them to say, oh, are you using vegan cheese now? And their answer was, and I quote, the options on our plant-based menu are all meat-free, though milk and egg products and enzymes or rennet from animal sources are allowed. We hope this helps. So I think they're just trying to get on the plant-based revolution bandwagon, and I personally think it's deceiving marketing. So if you want to make sure it's 100% plant-based or vegan, just check those ingredients. And this is the Plant-Based Briefing Podcast, the curated content podcast for healthy, compassionate, and sustainable living in about 10 minutes or less every weekday. And please subscribe and share this podcast with others. You can send them a link to plantbasedbriefing.com. And thanks so much for listening.